Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Freebie Man. And today, I already have it all set up, so I'll just show you guys the basis on what I did. So this today, this will be a short video, but I'll still show you all the code. And leave it up for probably 20 seconds for you to copy it. You can pause the video for it to work. So, right here, this just creates the ghost stick, which I called it, on our character. Adds the part that allows us to animate it, and clones the script in it so that it runs. That's literally the basis, and this is just the stuff for the events. So, I'll let you guys copy and paste this. Well, not copy and paste, but I'll let you guys copy this real quick. Okay, now, now that we have that done, we will place our finger on that script, and now right here, okay, so it's not going to be zoomed out, right here, this creates a new animation and parents it to the script, and that just sets the animation ID, I'll show you how to get the animation in a second, so this is getting the player, you can call this whatever you want, same with this, this is getting the player or it will if it doesn't get the player if this is nil it will then check wait until the character gets added into the game and then it'll return this as character and it'll do gain to replicate storage connect motor 60 so that's this that's just what runs it and it will grab this so i'll show you that in a second right here we also do it on the client so it runs we wait two seconds play the animation so right here since we're parenting it to the player GUI, it doesn't count as the ghost stick script anymore. So what we need to do is um, add this so that it goes to this body attach, which is what we were using to get the animation, so that we can then run it. So now I'll just show you a quick example. If I paste this into the dummy, go to the torso, click that plus sign, make sure to always do that, insert a motor 60. Go to part 0 as torso, and part 1 as the body attached. Now you see, it's kind of like inside the character. You think that's a little weird. Now make your animation, and this is mine just from the other video. Where it pretty much makes it spin forever and ever. And this is what's going to play. So I got this right here, just so that you guys know how to get the animation ID. Set it as action. Go to publish to Roblox. Name it whatever you want. I'll call it spinning stick animation. And I'll just script it as whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Creator is me because you don't want any groups. And you submit. Now you see right here, ID. Press that little like double thing button. It'll copy it onto your clipboard. And that's where you can go into this. Paste it right there. And see, there you go. Now you got the work animation. Now this won't work, so you have to put it back into here, so that it actually works, because you can't just keep changing it over and over, it won't allow you. So now that we got all that running, if we test play the game, it will put it on our character. So you can see real quick, it goes on our character, it spins, but the animation does play, but for some reason it deletes itself. That, I do not know the exact reason, but that's more so what it does. And, that's pretty much the basis on accessory animating. You can do this on anything to make a knife flip, spin in the air, and then you catch it to, to throwing something. And then, when you throw it, or like making something go onto your back and you pulling out your back. And a bunch of stuff like that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. And before we leave, make sure that the animation has the accessory on as this. Or else it will not work. Anyways, have a great day. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.